The greatest challenge for ERI as it approaches the 50th anniversary is that keeping it relevant. How relevant we will be in the changing world because there are many, many providers like the private sector is taking over in many of the technologies and providing all the technologies necessary and there are other universities and other things. So in terms of keeping relevant to the needs of the changing farming systems and changing requirements of the farmers, that is going to be the most challenge, actually. Uh, what is the second part? Uh, oh, the uh, challenge in your own area. Uh, in terms of, in my area, in uh, development, crop agronomy and the crop, crop management, definitely the farms are becoming smaller, and those farms cannot be very effective. There should be some way of consolidating these farms and making it more mechanized so that the next generation of young farmers can we will keep them in, uh, in farming. Otherwise, the next generation of farmers will not be farming at all because they are interested, they will be educated, they will be interested in some other job. But somebody has to produce this food. So if you don't keep this farming very attractive to the next generation of farmers, I am afraid that we will be losing the battle in terms of the food population race. So that is where I feel the difficulty, kind of thing.